Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I get a lot of questions from readers and viewers on Nikon digital sensors and sizes. Uh, some people are unclear of what set cameras have what size sensor, what DX is, what FX is, etc. So I thought I'd just go over the terminology for you. Basically, the, the Nikon DSLRs are split up into two different types of sensors. You have an FX sensor, which is Nikon's full frame sensor. And then you have a DX sensor, which is their crop sensor or APS-C sensor. The FX is uh, Nikon's newest sensor size, and it's the, what the Nikon top-of-the-line flagship DSLR cameras have, such as the Nikon D3S and the Nikon D3X. The uh, original D3 and the Nikon D700 also have full-frame FX sensors as well. And these sensors are referred to as full-frame because they are approximately the same size as a full-frame of 35 millimeter film. It's a, it's a holdover from the days when we shot film. A strip of 35 millimeter film was approximately 35 millimeters wide, which is where it got its name from. And each image or full frame on a strip of 35 millimeter film was 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters, which is the size approximately of a Nikon FX full frame sensor. So there's the uh, where the FX sensor and the size come from and where it gets its name from. And then the DX sensor is a crop sensor, and basically it's a crop of full frame. So it's a 1.5 crop of a full frame. And uh, it is uh, approximately 24 by 16 millimeters, and so it's, it's 1.5 crop, so it's smaller than the, uh, the FX. And uh, all else being equal, an FX sensor is going to be a better sensor with better light gathering abilities. Um, but that is all else being equal because you know sometimes the newer technology is in the DX such as right now we have the really nice sensor DX sensor that is in the D7000 and in the D5100 and it's very good it's about a stop off of the D3 or the D700 for image quality so it's, it's excellent now the flagship the D3S still has the best image quality of any Nikon sensor out there right now especially for high ISO images and for super clean quality images at higher ISO and it's probably about two stops better than what you're gonna see out of a D7000 maybe even a little better than that so basically we have in the FX lineup is the D3S the D3X the original D3 and the D700 so then we got the uh, DX lineup and currently that would be the D7000 the new D5100 and the D3100. Now the older ones, some of them are still for sale but are basically not in the current lineup is the D90, the D3000, and the D5000. And then of course you got older cameras that uh, there's plenty of older DX cameras because for quite a while there wasn't an FX sensor in Nikon. So that's basically the lineup and sensor sizes as far as uh, Nikon's concerned. For frame of reference the uh, Micro Four Thirds, which is Olympus and, and um, the Panasonics, the, um, the Four Thirds is an 18 millimeter by 13.5 millimeter frame uh, sensor, and that is even smaller than DX, and henceforth has a even uh, lower image quality, and uh, basically it's a two times crop instead of a 1.5 times crop, and um, then you get even smaller and if you look at something like in the Nikon lineup like the P7000 which is Nikon's answer to the G12 the Canon G12 you're looking at uh, a one one seventh of an inch sensor and it is 9.5 millimeters by 7.6 millimeters so that's pretty small even in relation to a four thirds and quite small in relation even to a DX and especially to an FX chip if you move along to something like the uh, point-and-shoot Nikon P500, then you're looking at one two-thirds of an inch sensor that's even smaller, and it's 7.7 .7 millimeters by 6.16 millimeters. So that's getting pretty small as far as sensors go, and you can see why a DX DSLR sensor such as in the D7000, the D5100, the D3100 is going to have far superior image quality to something that is in one of these point and shoots just because you can see the relative size of the sensor so and that relates to its light gathering ability and image quality so hope that helps uh, sometimes it's good to visualize sizes and understand uh, why things are 
uh, the way they are as far as sensors are concerned. So basically, you've got your FX, your DX, and then um, by point of reference, four, four thirds, micro four thirds is even smaller, and then you get into your point and shoot sizes like one over one seventh of an inch and one over two thirds of an inch, which are even dinkier little chips. So there's your, uh, your Nikon sensors and uh, FX and DX explained. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon with some more uh, video posts, some more articles, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.